Hi everyone, this is Nikki Jameson here. I am a digital artist and today we are in Rebel 6 and I'm going to show you how to create a stencil from a shape. So if you've watched my previous videos, you'll see various examples of my using stencils, uh, selections and so on in my work. So today I'm just very quickly going to show you how to create a shape and then how to turn it into a stencil. So what I'm going to do first of all is to create, is to go on it, make sure I'm on a new layer, like a separate layer, and I'm going to go into the freehand se selection tool. So the freehand selection tool literally means you can freehand anything. So I'm going to just do control Z out of that. So you can just create a shape. Um, let's just see what kind of shape might we want to do. A little bit tricky if you don't know what kind of shape. It literally doesn't matter. So, you know, let's let's use this shape. Okay, so you've created your shape here. Then what you're going to do with that, what you can do with this shape is that you can um, press to, to, you can fill the shape, okay? You can move it around your canvas. You can also fill it, and to fill it, you press L to activate the fill tool, and then go to a color. Uh, I like to use a dark color, and then tap it. And once you've tapped it, making sure that your shape is contiguous, so it's all joined up. Once you've tapped it, you've got this shape. Now, to get your brush back, you can press B. Every time you tap the shape with L, you will fill it again. Okay, so I'm going to go and just touch B again, get my brush back. What we now have is a selection. Okay, so what you, th what you then do, if you want to turn this into a stencil, which is very useful if you want to use shapes in your work, and you can do this from most types of images, is you activate the stencils flyer in Rebel. Now there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can go to Window and click Stencils, or I'm just going to press F10, or you can press F10 and your stencil library will appear. Okay. Now to cr to transform this or to create a stencil from this selection. What you will do is go to the top three drop down bars there and say create stencil from selection. OK, so what will happen then? You get a stencil. You can actually do control D now. Control D will release the marching ants. See, I haven't been that circumspect about joining up my lines, but you can make sure you join up your lines. So now you've created the stencil, and the way you know you've created the stencil is that it's put it into the stencil library. Okay, so now you have this uh, shape here, and it's in your stencil library. Now you can backspace, and it will leave the space the um, selection there. If you do control T now, you have this shape on your canvas. You can also do control I and that will invert the cam that will invert your, se your, your selection. This is actually now a stencil. I'm just going to do control I again. This is now a stencil in your stencil library. So let's get rid of this for the moment. We, we're on that layer three. We don't really need that layer at the moment, so I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to add a new layer. And then what you can do, since you now have your stencil in your stencil library, you can go to, say, if you want to, depending on what painting you want to do, I'll make this a little bit of a bigger brush. And just put down... Put down some paint here and then if you want to put your shape here you can click on your shape in your selections library you have your shape there now 
you can if you wish and in fact I'm going to do control Z I'm going to control Z out of that it's already left the mark there isn't that interesting I'm going to fast dry that it's actually put the shape on that layer it's not really what I want so I'm going to um, let's see if I can blend that out that's kind of interesting it actually made it imprinted on the layer the reason was because I put that on that same layer so it's actually picked up that shape okay you don't have to do it like that and what I'm going to show you now is that I'm going to go I'm going to fast dry this background layer to stop the water flow then I am going to add a new layer okay and then I am going to go back to my uh, shape and get my stencil uh, I can I'll go back to paint let's get a really contrasty contrasty but not necessarily dark and you can paint inside the stencil okay you can paint with as many colors as you wish let's use this because I'm using a watercolor and I've got it as transparent it is going to show or going to flow rather that's what I meant to say but the point being is you've now got your um, and in fact we should make that maybe somewhat more contrasty it's actually painting I'm painting wet into the wet uh, paint here so you've got quite a nice color variation if that's something that you you like doing but really this is just to show you now be very careful not to go past the edge of the stencil because then you'll get paint there now it probably doesn't matter that much you can always go on your layer below and blend or erase that out in fact probably erase it maybe actually it should probably be on the top layer here Okay, you can erase it or mask it, but you just want to be careful. I was not very careful there. Okay, so now you have your stencil and what you can do to get rid of it, you can either, um, you can dry the layer, because you're on the, your top layer now, you can either go to the, the hamburger menu here, the little drop down here, uh, if you don't want to change it and flip it and so on, you can just click remove or backspace. And there you have your stencil shape that you can now do whatever you want with. You can do control T and you can manipulate it. You can transform it. Press shift key to maintain the um, proportions. If you don't press the shift key, it will get all out of proportion like that. I was pressing the shift key, but I let it go okay and you can move it around if you are on your transform tool you'll have the option to flip it either way and then also what you can do if you say okay don't forget to say okay say I, I have flipped it you can then duplicate the layer do control T again uh, flip it the other way and there you almost have a little mirror painting. You can just move that and you have a mirror image. OK, so that is a very neat way to create shapes, make selections from those shapes, put those selections or shapes in your stencil library and transform them to make a a new shape or multiple shapes and use them in your artwork. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something. Perhaps I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye.